What's up creatives? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we do tons of cool tutorial stuff like this and I do vlogs, cinematic vlogs, all types of cool projects. This side of my face is kind of messed up. It's numb. I just got back from the dentist, so don't mind that. But today we're going to hop on the computer and we'll show you guys how to make some sick video titles for your music videos, your vlogs, any type of video really. Just we're going to make some cool video titles. Let's get to it. Hello. All right, first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Photoshop because that's where I like to personally make my titles at. So create new and we're gonna do 1920 by 1080, create. Now we have a 1920 by 1080 frame where we can build our title. Go ahead and get the paint bucket, paint it black, switch this swatch to white, and I'm gonna grab my T for text tool. I'm gonna drag it from there to there. As you can see, you got the purple uh, lines that are indicated for the center, the left and the right. We're gonna type in, uh, let's say title. Actually, let's do those capital title. And let's do it, let's pick a different font. Um, I think a really good font, very universal is Gotham. I've used it for a very long time and it's just a cool font. So I usually go medium, bold or black. I'm gonna go bold with this one. I think it looks good. So what you can do is you can make it big. You can go with a big title around 50 like that and I don't like how it's spaced out that much I would like to space it in so if you come over here to this little uh, characters tab you can find that in window go to character and it'll pop up here on the side do negative 50 in this um, section where the arrow is pointing left to right do negative 50 you can even drag it in a little bit more to make it closer let's do negative uh, 75 so it's close like that and I like the way that looks. That's a cool little title. If you come over to your layers panel, you can hide that and let's do another one because I'd like to make titles like that big and I like to do them small and spaced out. Those are just the way I like. I think they look really good. Put caps lock on and put title. So what we're gonna do is highlight that. Come over here to the sides. We're gonna drop that down to maybe like 10. I think 10 looks good. Then we're gonna space this out far. So it's kind of got like a cool spaced out look. So what I usually do after I make my titles is I'll right click on the layer over here on the right side and do rasterize type. It makes it set. You can't edit it anymore. The reason that I do that is because I like to highlight that and then highlight the background. And if you push V for the um, move tool up at the top, you can center it. Um, up and down and left and right. So it'll put it right dead in the center of the actual frame. The reason that I make my titles in Photoshop is because I just think it's quicker, faster, and easier. I was a graphic designer before I did videos, so it's just way easier for me. And I feel like you got more room and flexibility to make your titles really cool. So let's highlight the big title on highlight the small one and do the same thing, rasterize, highlight the title, the background, and let's center that. Now what we wanna do is uncheck the background, uncheck one of the titles. Now we got the small one. Let's do, let's export that out or save as. And you wanna make sure that the format is a PNG so it has no background. So we're gonna name it title small to the desktop, boom. Now let's unhighlight that and let's make the big title visible, but no background. File, save as. Let's go to PNG, let's do title big and save as PNG, save, boom. Now we're done. You can really make your titles however you want with whatever font you want. And then we're gonna basically take it into Adobe Premiere Pro and put it on top of our video. Opening up Premiere Pro, let's do a new project and we're gonna call this titles. Okay, so I like to put my media here, have my preview here, have my actual video here, timeline here. You come here, I do effects. That way all my effects are down here on the left side. What you wanna do is click this little new item tab and do sequence. And I usually do digital SLR 1080p at 24. That means 24 frames per second. Okay, so now we have a sequence ready to build. I just brought in a quick clip. I'm gonna drag that down into my timeline, trim it up to just a little bit. And I'm gonna take out the audio or mute it. So we're just gonna put these titles over top of this and make it look cool. So let's import those titles, double click in your media area if you use Premiere Pro. If you're using something else, all you gotta do is import those uh, PNG titles into your program the same way you would do any other footage. Okay, so now we have a small one and we have the big one. Let's start with the big one. We're gonna drag that into the timeline. Now it's a PNG, so it has no background. So that's the benefit of making it a PNG. There's no background, so it shows up right over top of your video, perfect. So basically that's how I make my titles, but I'm gonna show you guys some effects for titles as well and show you like how I make like titles move and certain things like that and what effects I use. I'm gonna hold shift and hit the right arrow key twice and that jumps five, 10 frames. I'm gonna cut the rest off. So I wanna go find the wave warp 
drag that onto it and what it's gonna do is it has a lot of cool effects on it but we're gonna uncheck that effect real quick and I'm gonna just kind of chop this up a little bit so one frame jump forward one frame cut jump another frame cut jump frame cut jump one frame cut so what I like to do is usually make my um, title stutter a little bit when they're coming in. It doesn't just pop up on the screen. It kind of like flickers in. So I don't know. I just like the way it looks. I think it's cool. I think you should check it out. See if you like it as well. So what I'll do is go every other frame and delete those. So now when you play it, it kind of like stutters in. It comes in in a cool way. From that point on, we're going to highlight this rest of those frames on that title and we're going to bring that uh, wave warp back in. So I don't like the way that it's going like wavy like that. I want this to actually be at zero degrees. So it's left to right rather than up and down on the effect. Um, I also don't like the sin. It's like a curvy wavy look. I want to actually do square. I think the square is cool. Now, as you can see, there's an effect. And if you play with the wave height, it goes left and right. It kind of splits that thing up. And the wave width, what that does is it cuts it up a bunch of times or it can cut it up up to one time so what i want to do is go down i want to drag this down to like two i want it to look like blurry like just a bunch of different slices and i'm going to bring it in close so it kind of just makes it look like a little bit of a some tv static almost and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the stopwatch to the left of all these now that i got it set and then down at the bottom, best quality, you wanna put it at high quality. You want it to be high quality, obviously not low quality. So it's gonna start out like that. So what I did start using those uh, stopwatches is I set a keyframe. So if I go to the next one and I change it, it's gonna go from where I set those keyframes that the settings that it's on now to a different setting if I change it at all on the next frame. So we're gonna jump one frame ahead and we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna pull it out a little bit more maybe, drop down as many slices as it has less. I kind of like that. Next frame, we're going to go back down to two again for more slices to make it look a little bit more fuzzy. And we're actually going to bring this wave height the opposite way so it goes to the other side. So it kind of shows a little bit of movement in it. Then we're going to jump to the next frame. We're actually going to cut, cut on another frame up and take that little chunk out. Then here, we're going to take off the wave warp and do something else. Now what I'm going to do is hold option click and drag that way it duplicates the layer of the title on this layer i'm going to scale it up to like 120 and i'm going to go find a blur let's do the gaussian blur i believe that's how you say it drop that onto that top one we're going to click repeat edge pixels and we're going to bump up the blurriness to like let's see no nah, not 50 let's go to about 20. so you can still see no 15. you can still see the shape of the letters but you can also tell that it's a little bit blurry so now it looks kind of cool what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull it to the right a little bit and i'm going to bring down the opacity of it just so it kind of looks kind of cool like that so we're going to jump to the next frame let's do a cut on that top layer so we can change the next frame and what we're going to do here is we're going to bring it down and over to the left a little bit and even drop it down to 115 in size and if we go to the bottom layer we're gonna cut there in the middle and I'm gonna bring down the size of the actual title. Let's go to 75. Now, if we play it, that's cool. We got a cool looking title. It kind of brings in a title. You can use this for a music video. You can use this for a vlog, anything. And you can customize it to however you want to do it. Like it's so subjective. There's a million different ways you can do it. Yeah, I like that. So let's delete that. That looks pretty cool. Let's move on to the smaller title with the spaces. Again, we're going to hold shift and click the right arrow two times to jump five, 10 frames, five frames, 10 frames. And we're going to cut this time. We're going to do something a little different. I'm going to look for the transform effect and I'm going to drag that onto that title. Now, what I'm going to do is you go down to the bottom and it says use composition shutter angle. You want to uncheck that and doing that is going to add motion blur. So whenever, whatever you do, if you set keyframes and move the title around, it's going to have motion blur in it rather than the title just moving around. It's going to have some motion blur and look cool. So what we need to do next is set the shutter angle high. Let's go to like 150. That is how much motion blur is actually in the movement. I like 150. I think you could take it to like 360, but 150 is pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click the stopwatch on position on scale and we're going to get to moving this thing around. What I want it to do is be motion blurred swinging in. So I'm going to bring it from maybe the top right corner down in and then back to the middle. So it's just going to look cool just kind of flying in. So let's start with that first frame. Let's take that over to the right. Let's take that up right to the top of the corner. Now let's come to the next frame. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all the way over here to the left side. Then we're going to bring it down. Now we got it there. Let's move to the next frame. Click right one frame. Then we're going to do bring it almost up to the middle, kind of to the right again. So it kind of swings from the right, left, right, center. I think that'll be cool. Let's jump one frame and let's bring that over here kind of over to the left a little bit actually so we can just add just one more frame of a little bit more movement move over one more frame and then let's hit the reset parameter um, button so it brings it right to the middle and let's see how that looks you know what let's go ahead and bump that uh, shutter angle up to 200 let's see what we got now, as you can see let's take off the background clip it kind of flies in cool so it's only five frames, so we can come to the middle of that where that five frames is, cut it, and then we could drag this on as long as we want the title to show and then let it come off whenever we feel like it's good. So let's bring that clip back in and you start from the beginning. Let's make this big. Boom, flies in, let it roll, and then it cuts out wherever we want it. I'm gonna say right there, I want it to cut off. So say this is the beginning of your video and you know where you want it to cut off at and you also want it to fly in. So you cut right there at those five frames or however many frames you want. You could do 10 frames if you want. You can make it go crazy. It's so subjective, but I like my titles to kind of like zing in real quick and then sit there for a minute so you can see what it actually is. You need time to read it and then let it fly out. And you can even do what I said on the first title and let it stutter out at the end. So let's come here to the end. Let's go back one frame, get the blade tool, cut one frame, cut one frame cut, one frame cut, and then take out, boom, boom. Now it'll stutter out at the end. Motion blur flies in, sits there so people can read it, and then stutters out, so. I think that looks really cool. And then even on those stutters, if you wanted, you could come to that um, second to last, make it go to 80, make it smaller, go to that last one and bring that down to 60. So it kind of like stutters smaller, it goes, that's really cool, I like that. So I'm gonna delete this stuff and just show you another way that I like to bring titles in. Let's bring that title in. What you could do is just click on it, effects control, scale, and then go as far as you want it to be on your video. I'm gonna say right here. And then you wanna set a keyframe at the end and maybe just have it ever so slightly zooming in a little bit. So let's do 105. So it makes it a little bit bigger at the end. It makes it regular size at the beginning. So it'll gradually zoom in a little bit, which looks pretty cool. Very subtle, very simple, but very effective. Just depends on the mood of your actual video edit. So hopefully this video kind of helps you get an idea of how I make video titles, how you can make video titles, and how you can throw effects on them just to make them more cool when they're coming in on a video. So that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. I hope that it helped you out. If it did, slap that like button. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to get back to you and help you out with anything or any needs that you have. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing and click the bell for the noties, definitely. So you know when these type of videos come out, make sure you click the link down below and go check out my Instagram. I do a lot of cool stuff on there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.